The deadliest accident in motor racing history killed 84 people, injured 170 others, and the race wasn't stopped. The 24-hour Le Mans race is considered the most grueling automobile race in the world. The first race in 1923 featured automobiles traveling 60 miles per hour. By 1955, they were topping out at 180 miles per hour, but the track had largely been unchanged. At 6.26 p.m., Mike Hawthorne makes the pass, but suddenly decides to cut towards the wall, breaking hard to enter his pit. Macklin is startled and veers back towards the middle of the track, just as Pierre Levet, a Mercedes-Benz driver, was approaching at 150 miles per hour. Macklin's car acted a ramp which catapulted the Mercedes towards spectators. The car rolled end over end for 85 yards as Levet was thrown free with his skull fatally crushed by the impact. The heaviest components of the car, the engine, radiator, and front suspension acted as cannonballs, traveling over 100 yards crushing all in their path. The hood of the car also came detached, decapitating tightly jammed spectators. News of the accident was slow to get around and race authorities decided to keep the race going, arguing they didn't want to cause the rest of the spectators to flood the streets, blocking emergency crews. Mike Hawthorne of Jaguar would go on to win. The ensuing celebration made it seem as if he didn't know he was just part of 